before it's over with. Let's take a look at this one here, just for the heck of it. So, again, most of these are just ordinary black ant hills, and that one is too. Not very active either. And there's one over here. I'm going to take a look at it real quick. there let's see that one's pretty active but as you can see there are no red ants in this one these are the colonies that are raided by the Amazons they send out scouts to find them Then they stream over there. I think they do wait till there's lots of eggs in the hill so that they can steal the eggs and then bring them back to their own colony or they might take over that colony. I don't know for sure how that works yet. I need to read a little bit more. There's a lot of them long here. This, we've probably passed 10 since the last one. Let's see what here. Very little activity there. I wish there were more varieties of ants up here better variety in central Iowa and uh, not only of the black and brown ants but also much more variety in the red ants. Now I did see the orange colony probably saw that on one of my earlier videos last week when I was on the West Lake area and those orange ones are really fairly uncommon very slow and they're not a target for the Amazon ants about 83 today 84 Fahrenheit if you want to convert that to Celsius it's a simple way to do it first you subtract 32 from 84 and you get 50 52 then you divide that by 2 26 and then you add 10% to that which is 2.6 and you get 28 and a half degrees Celsius
I think I said 20. Okay. 26. Plus 2.8. Yes. going to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, do the exact opposite. You take the Celsius, let's say it's 20, you double it, you get 40. Instead of adding, you subtract 10%, which is 40 degrees, so now you have 36, and then you add 32 to 36, and you get Fahrenheit. Track 32 is because Celsius starts at zero for freezing, and Fahrenheit starts at 37. And also, each degree Celsius is 1.8 degree Fahrenheit, which is 10% less than two. started doing that conversion in my head when we went to Norway and we were in the metric system and I wanted to know what I was getting into for the day for temperatures and then now that I have an employee in Zimbabwe they're also on the metric system which we all should be on and uh, find myself converting again because she uh, I'd like to know what the temperature is in Zimbabwe when I speak to her via Zoom or Messenger. Well, heading back to the house, 